Hi, and thanks for tuning into Access Unlimited's YouTube channel. Today we're going to show you how you can use your multi-lift system in combination with the combo sling to solve a very specific problem, which is how, when you're, trans when you're traveling, how do you lift a person up to be able to either change clothing or change a diaper, if that's the case. Um, in order to do this, we're going to use our regular multi-lift, the speedy bar here, the multi-lift itself, and the combo sling. Now, the, uh, this can be done in a van, this can be done in an RV, and we also have videos in the notes field down below of how to do this in the home. But here we're specifically going to focus on a vehicle with a low roof, which presents a particular challenge in uh, transferring. So, the combo sling, let's introduce that. Why, when do we use a combo sling? Use a combo sling when you need to transfer somebody, but then at a separate time, you need to lift them up just a little bit by the torso only, okay, in order to be able to change clothing, uh, you know, pull the pants down, uh, change a diaper, or, uh, you know, basically even just sometimes just shift a person's position. So the combo sling, as you'll notice, is usually built in a bath version, okay, uh, because typically it's used for bathing. Um, and it has a very heavily padded band right here under the arms. You'll notice it's very short. This is very, very stiff padding, goes underneath the arms. And we also have a chest, sort of a compression band here that we use to kind of spread the load out so that we're not just putting all the weight under the arms. But it's very important to note that this setup is not gonna be right for everybody. If you have a person that has uh, difficulty having any kind of a pressure under the arm or significant pressure, or a person who is very heavy and uh, just can't take the, the, the weight under the arms, this is not going to be appropriate. So please make sure that you only do this or if you're working with Access Unlimited and, uh, and you have verified that this is going to be a good application for your particular situation. So here, if you'll notice, the leg tabs normally on your normal multi-lift sling are going to go underneath, but here we're going to have them out because we're trying to actually lift from the upper torso. Now we have a multi-piece combo sling as well, which is a little bit more complicated and has straps that go in between the legs, which kind of defeat the purpose here. So you'll want to you'll want to talk with us about the uh, the multi-piece combo sling to see whether that's going to be appropriate for your needs. For the majority of folks, though, we're going to be using the regular combo sling here. So we're going to switch our view. Now you'll notice if we come in with a camera here, this band right here, we've got several straps so you can go underneath and then for a, a thinner person here, we're gonna go in the, we're gonna go around those bands right there. And you see that we can just snug this up like that. And you're gonna wanna make a pretty good pressure there because it's gonna make it easier and it's gonna spread the load out more and you'll watch how that happens as we raise the person. So I'm gonna raise this a little bit here hook up the combo sling right there. You'll notice that we have these straps adjusted very, very short because we've only got so much distance before we get up to the top. And in fact, you know, these could even be a little shorter. All right, so let's watch what happens here as we pick the person up. Okay, so we are creating some pressure under the arms. If the person has no ability to hold their arms down because they do need to use their muscles a little bit then this is not going to be an appropriate uh, use of the product okay we raise up until we are just touching the head there okay and you'll see we are pretty well up and off the seat we've got lots of clearance under here and all the area where we would need to take the pants down is fully accessible okay so move the person around shift them do as you wish now we're coming back down release the chest strap, release the sling, and we're ready to go. Now, just so that you understand how the sling works when you're going to actually lift the person, I'll demonstrate for you without the chest strap attached, how do we then go in and use the sling normally. Now, once you've done this, you're gonna find that the sling will have ridden up and you're gonna have to put it back in its natural place.
Okay, so once we do this, now we can actually hook up when you're ready to actually move. You take the lift, bring it down, and these straps would be adjusted to be an appropriate distance, but we can now hook up the leg straps, put the person, uh, hook up the arm straps, and lift the person normally as you would with your multi-lift. We very much appreciate your watching this video um, and learning about another application of our products. Access Unlimited is 100% dedicated to providing every option and solving every problem that you have in lifting and transferring along the lines of our philosophy of one lift so it solves the problem of lifting and transferring. Um, <clears throat> we're so glad you took the time to watch the video. Uh, we're on Twitter at, at AccessUN. Our Facebook page is facebook.com slash AccessUN. We're on YouTube at youtube.com slash AccessUN. Our website is www.accessunlimited.com. Watch the other video down below showing how to do the same thing in the home. And um, we look forward to hearing from you soon. Our phone number is 607-669-4822. Thanks for watching our video.